Hello and welcome to this session. Today we will learn how to do parameterization using variables in a Catalon Studio sample project and this is the sample SOAP API project that we have been creating in the earlier session. So you can see we have already covered how to pass values from a response to a request or API chaining. We have already covered some basics of adding API and creating a test case. So in this session I am going to discuss with you how to do parameterization using variables and this is going to be very simple and very easy and in Catalon Studio we have various ways of doing parameterization. Now parameterization in very simple way is to use multiple values in a request or response or in your test based on your needs and the uh, very effective and most common way of doing parameterization is using variables and then you can provide these variables with multiple values as per your needs. So let us start and let us see how to do that in Catalon Studio. I will open my Catalon Studio and I am using version 5.8.4 and here you can see we have this project that we have already created in our earlier sessions and we have added some SOAP APIs. I will add a new SOAP API from the same service which is country info service so let me just go to the Vistal URL of country info service WSTL and then I will get a new SOAP API request from here so this is the WSTL that we are using for our sample project and using the Whistler Chrome extension I am go I can pass and see the services available so here uh, let me see we have capital city uh, we have uh, all these APIs so I am going to take a sample API called currency name so here we have to give the country ISO code and it will give us the currency of that particular country so I will first create a new web service request and I will say get currency and this is a SOAP request and in the URL I am going to give the WSTL of this web service and say OK and here is our request I am going to say load from WSTL and say currency name here and in the request message I am just going to add this body and that's it and here if I give any currency uh, the ISO code for the country and run this this should give me the currency of that particular country and you can see this is saying currency not found so I think we have this is asking for the currency ISO code so I do not want the currency ISO code let me check uh, this is country currency is I think the correct API that we should be using so let me just use the country currency yeah this is the one and I have to copy this request here and here I can give any country name let us say IN for India and if I run this it should give me the currency for India so yes it is giving us the currency and similarly if I now say US and run this this should give me the currency of United States and yes it is giving me the correct response now to do parameterization the uh, most easy and efficient way is to use variables so for example I want to parameterize this particular value so instead of hard coding here I will use a variable and I will say dollar and in curly braces I will give the variable name for example I will say this is country ISO code and then in the variable section you can define this so I can say country ISO code and then you can say whatever is the type whether you want it as a string number boolean or you can also take it from global variable from a test data as well so if I select test data you can see you can give your values here you can also use list or maps for example if I say list here you can keep on adding your variables or your values if you want a list and otherwise you can just keep it string and I can give the 
country code here and if I run this now it should give me the capital of IN which is the country code that we have used and you can see it is giving us the correct response now you can use these variables anywhere for example if you have uh, authorization let us say you have a basic authorization and you have some username let us say user1 and password pass1 I will say update to HTTP header and if you go to HTTP header you can see you have got this value here now I can also copy this value of authorization and go to the variables and create a variable called authorization and give this value and then in the HTTP header I can just say here I can refer to this particular variable called authorization and that's it and of course you can see the authorization value you can get it from all these locations so this is how you can uh, use variables and parameterize so for example I want to get this location or this country as a code from a global variable so you can go to the profile and a default profile is already there and this is the country code that we have used in our earlier session so I can actually use this one here as well so in the get cap currency I will say this is this should come from global variable and the global variable I'm going to use is country code so here you can see it will now fetch it from a global variable called country code and for different environments or different runs you can have multiple profiles so a default profile is already there you can also either go to profile right click and say new execution profile or I can also copy this and paste it and I can give it a name I can say this is uh, let us say QA profile so I will say QA now whenever you want to run you will always have this drop down where you can select your profile whether QA or default or any number of profiles you can create and also when you uh, run from command line so if you go to the console you can always see if I will if you have some test suite let me just show you if I create I will quickly create a new test suite I will see this is new test suite 1 and now if I create a command using this test suite you can see it asks us for the profile that we want to run with so I can select a profile here and it will generate the command where we can give the execution profile so you can also run it from the command line like this so this is going to be very handy there are multiple ways that you can use parameterization you can also use some data files so you can have some data files here and if you go here to your global variables you can see the value type that you can give here is can be a string number boolean date test data value test object test data range list map and so on so this is how there are many options that you can uh, use all these features and you can do parameterization in your project so I hope this session was very useful for you we will use many of these features in the coming sessions and I hope you will enjoy all these sessions thank you for watching